Good morning, everyone. <laughs> um, happy Saturday. I am at my parents' house because they are out of town and I'm, I've been watching their uh, pet. And um, uh, Mackie's dad is home today, so I was like, all right, you're in charge of him today. <laughs> um, so I came here to have a little um, privacy and I, I don't know, I <laughs> I had a topic I was gonna talk about, but then shit happened this morning. So I'm just, I'm trying to deal with it, get through it. I know my parents probably aren't gonna like that I'm here, so that's fine. Um, next time I'll just go in a fucking field, I don't fucking care. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just in such a, a bad mood right now. Um, probably shouldn't be, shouldn't have the camera on, but um, yeah, I'm just, I'm dealing with, it just sucks. I feel like I got kicked out of my house just so I can make a YouTube video, like, because people talk shit about, like, me making videos like this, and then they're like, oh, but your son is right there. He can hear it. I'm like, well, yeah, you want me to fucking lock him in a room? Like, yeah, he's always right there. I'm watching him. I'm taking care of him. I'm not gonna lock him in a room just so he won't hear what I'm saying. Fucking idiots. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I actually was here to talk about something that was like very vulnerable for me and something that like I wasn't planning on talking about or like I ha I've i never talked about this with really anyone. Um, which I got the idea because last night, um, me and my partner, we were actually just having a conversation. Um, I don't remember how, what it, like how it started, but somehow we got on the topic of like my eating habits, and I straight up was like, um, well, my partner, he's like, it's not like not in like a, not in a judgmental way, but he was like, it's not like you have a an eating disorder, and I was kind of like, well, I do, <laughs> I do have an eating disorder. So yeah, let's hear what I'm what I'm here to talk about is um, my eating disorder which I've never just straight out said to anyone, like, yeah, I have an eating disorder. Um, some people have, like, picked up on little notes, like my, me not eating um, or eating very little, um, which I haven't really felt, like, a ton of judgment from that. That's just kind of, like, people just observing me eat or not eat. Um, but I've... I don't know why I don't really talk about this. It might be a little bit of, not necessarily shame, because I'm not ashamed of having an eating disorder. I'm ashamed of how my eating disorder controls my life. And I am not, I don't have very good, good control over my eating disorder. I would say I've pretty much had an eating disorder my whole life. Um, when I had um, my son, one thing I realized um, about like human nature is um, one of your first, re when you're born, one of your first relationships is with food. Like um, I was breastfeeding him and I watched him like develop in a relationship with my breast that gave him food before he developed a re relationship with me. Like they were two separate things, like food and mom were two separate things at the beginning. So it made me realize like, oh, that's one of our as humans, that's one of our first relationships is with food and eating. Um, so it's something that like, you think it's just something natural, like people have to eat, but it's actually a relationship. It's a very <laughs> complex um, sort of thing, at least for some people. Some people um, eating like is just a normal thing they do in life. Um, but for me, it's, isn't normal it's very um exhausting i <laughs> i don't like i my eating disorder is one of those things about my personality and my life that i don't really understand and i don't have much control over so it's it's kind of hard to talk about it because i don't know i just feel like I don't know, I wish it was different and I wish I was better, but I'm not and 
it's actually my eating disorder is actually pretty bad right now i am back to um being in the 70 pound range the other day i weighed myself and i was 70 pounds which um i made a post on instagram maybe like a year ago or so kind not straight up coming out saying i have an eating disorder but talking about like my weight um because i was at 70 pounds again and i was able to get it back i was able to get it up to 80 and i was like i was prom promoting that i guess i was like i'm really proud of myself i was able to get up to 80 pounds um which i know that sounds like nothing like that <laughs> it was like the size of a dog in most people's minds but for me 80 pounds is like at least right now 80 pounds is like a goal and something to work really hard towards when like I am not, I'm under that weight. Um, I weighed myself this morning and I'm 73 pounds, which I don't count numbers necessarily. Like the weight number doesn't matter to me. It's more like to see if I am gaining weight. Like I weighed myself a little while ago and it was 70. So now I was like, oh shit. So <laughs> now I weigh myself to be like, okay, am I above that? Like, am I gaining weight? And I, I am. Like, I got 73, that's great. Um, but still, like, 73 pounds, that's nothing. And it's just, it's pretty scary. Um, because, like, I do physically see it on my body. Like, my bones stick out. Um, and I don't have a ton of energy. I, that's one of the issues is, like, I always have this fear of, like, I'm too skinny. Which I guess I'll give you guys some background on, like... Because I said I've had an eating disorder my whole life. But I haven't actually, like realized it was an eating disorder until well at least like fully aware that like it's an eating disorder i'm trying to take care of it probably like i don't know maybe a year or two years um which i'm 25 so <laughs> to have an eating disorder your whole life and not be aware that you have an eating disorder until a couple years ago is pretty detrimental i have this vivid memory of when i was a kid which i always want to say it's when i was seven seven years old but like that sounds so young that i don't know like that's just how i remember it as being seven but i don't know if actually if i was actually like a little bit older um but i remember just i just stopped eating and it was it wasn't because i thought i was fat it wasn't because someone told me like to do it i was literally just like i'm i'm bored with eating i'm done with it i don't want to do it anymore <laughs> um and like I, I stopped eating and um, the only thing that really kept me alive is my mom would make those, those instant breakfast like shakes um, and I would drink at least one of those in the morning and like one when I got, one when I got home from school. Um, so that was like my only nourishment for a while. It felt like, it felt like forever doing that but it was probably only like a few months um before i like started eating again but i remember um like my parents or at least my mom was aware that i wasn't eating because she got me those instant breakfast and then she would always i say threaten in a very light term but she was like threatened to like you're we're gonna take you to the hospital and they're gonna feed you through an iv and it was always like a very she would say it in like a very scary term like that would be a punishment for me um, but realizing back then, I was like, I probably should have fucking been taken to the hospital. Um, so yeah, I, I always had that threat and that was, was something that got me to eat. I was like, well, I don't want to go to the hospital and have needles in my arms and yada yada. Um, but even like, even that, uh, I never really went back to like fully eating. I think it was probably like fourth or fifth grade. I just completely stopped bringing food to school. I, I stopped eating lunches. Um, I wouldn't bring food. I wouldn't buy food at school. Like I pretty much through the whole school day, I wouldn't eat anything. And I want to say that was from like fourth grade. till like I graduated high school, like I never ate lunch. I, I think my junior and senior year, I started to at least bring like snacks to school. And I, I still wouldn't eat them during lunch. I'd eat them during like certain classes. We were allowed to have snacks. Um, but yeah, that was always just like a, that was part of my like school ritual, I guess. I just, I never ate at school. I don't really know 
exactly why. I don't think it was like I was being, well, maybe, I don't know. All of my memories from elementary school are kind of shady because they're, they're buried pretty deep um, because of what happened um, to me in elementary school. That's a story for another day. But um, I remember like just not eating in elementary school and I don't think anyone said anything. I don't think any teachers said anything. I don't think like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was just, I stopped eating lunch in elementary school. And then like in high school, when I was in on a dance team, we would have like practices after school. Uh, so usually I would be good and I would, once, like once school ended, we have like 30 minutes to go get some food. We would usually go get some food. Um, which I always had, I didn't have my own money, so I always had to ask my parents for money, which they hated, <laughs> they hated me asking them for money so I can get food after school, um, which uh, the school I went to, we didn't have a ton of like cheap options close. The cheapest option was McDonald's, which if you, <laughs> if you um, are like an athlete or a dancer and you're, the only supplement is McDonald's. Like, that's just a, a recipe for disaster. Um, so yeah, that, like, I, sure, I was eating, but, like, I was eating McDonald's cheeseburgers. Like, I don't know. I'm not I'm not here to judge McDonald's. McDonald's is, is what it is. <laughs> um, I know I wasn't eating in school, and that was, like, by the time I made it to high school, that was normal. Like, I was well-adjusted to not eating until, like, 5 p.m. every day. Um... And people in high school didn't really comment on my eating habits, but they did comment on like my size and um, my body type, um, which this doesn't really have to do with eating, but I would get teased a lot for my breast size, my boob size, um, by everyone, by men, girl, <laughs> men. <laughs> well, maybe not men, maybe I don't, whatever that's another conversation um but like the my peers my friends like my boyfriend my best friends all they would all like call me flat chested and all that shit which like being a 16 year old is like yeah i had 16 year old boobs get over it um they're fucking flappy now whatever yeah so that was like having an eating disorder and not eating and then people making fun of you for something you can't control like if I did eat more I don't think my breasts would have got bigger but just like the my body image would be made fun of and then like I'd go and starve myself like it just it wasn't helping um and I haven't since I got out of high school I haven't really been like bullied for my size but it's just like the the comments of like oh you can take a couple pounds for me or like, I'll, like, get that girl a sandwich or, like, some shit. Just, like, comments on my weight and how I look that just make it so much worse. Um, like, I hate telling people my weight. Like, I, li I lied about it on my driver's license, first of all. Because I was like, that's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> I was like, let's put 85 pounds. Um, and then, yeah, like, sometimes people will, like guess my weight or so and they usually like guess up and i'm just like no keep keep going down keep and that um gets really annoying like the other day um my neighbor girls they were which i love them they're so sweet but they were asking how much i weighed and they were literally going down by like are you 95 are you 94 are you 93 and i was like this is gonna take too fucking long <laughs> so i was like yeah i made a pound i made a pounds whatever so like i We'll straight up like lie about my weight sometimes just to end the conversation or try to not like make myself look better but I don't want people to I don't want people to get freaked out by that number especially like a lot of people like they want to lose weight and they think they're overweight so when I come here like with this ridiculous small number I feel like it, it could offend some people um which like I, I'm not trying to do I'm not trying to brag about my weight I'm not proud of it um, and even more so than like my physical 
looks. I hate people talking about my eating habits. Like, <sighs> I know it's good etiquette to finish your plate, but like, if I can't and someone was like, you better fucking finish that plate, like, that is the worst thing for me. Especially like, there's been times where like just as one example like I was somewhere eating and then I had to go take care of my son and like by the time I got back to my plate the food was cold and something was going on so I didn't want to microwave it I just wanted to get out of the kitchen so I was like okay I'm just gonna take my plate and empty it and put it in the sink and then people were like you're just throwing away your food like you not you didn't eat it you're just gonna throw it away and I'm just like I <laughs> uh eating is such an emotional tie for me like it's completely tied in emotions it's not just like oh i'm hungry i need to eat it's usually like if i'm upset or sad my appetite is gone um and a lot of times too lately like it's been kind of a medical thing like i'll wake up nauseous or like my stomach's in knots um and i, I like the thought of eating makes me sick so like I still struggle eating in the morning and it's usually because I wake up nauseous, um, which I have gone to the doctor for um, a couple, like a few doctors a couple times to try to figure out like what was going on. Cause there was a period, um, I think I've talked about this in videos before. There's a period where like I was throwing up just for no reason, like <laughs> just throwing up. Um, so I went to the doctor and I was like, okay, what's going on with my stomach? Um, and I got tested for like a, like viruses and stuff and then I got tested for um fuck what's it called uh hyper hi the thyroid thing fuck what is it called I don't know but it's like when you're you have really high metabolism and your thyroid I can't think of the word fuck <laughs> um, but basically like I got tested for like if I just have a high thyroid to where like I can't gain weight like I'm just processing it too much but I, I tested negative for that so I was kind of like okay it's not that and then I had like the stomach test to see if there's like bacteria in my stomach where that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever done at a doctor it was so dumb but basically I, I had this plastic bag I breathed in it and then I drank this like sour liquid and then I breathed into another bag and then you wait 15 minutes and they compare the bags and see what is in their stomach and that also came back negative like nothing came bad and that, that cost 150 bucks that was ridiculous so like i've been to doctors and tried to like medically figure out what's going on and all the doctors are like you're fine like there's nothing wrong so that makes me think like okay it's it has to just be my eating disorder like it has to be a mental thing that is physically a mental thing that is causing physical harm i guess <laughs> because a lot of my eating does come down to like what mind state I'm in. Um, like I said, like usually in the morning I'm nauseous, I don't wanna eat. Um, sometimes I will like feel guilty for eating. Like, of course like it's easier to feel guilty when it's something not considered healthy. Like yeah, that I feel like that's pretty normal for people. If you're eating something like quote unquote junk food, I hate that term, but junk food. Um, like yeah, it's, it will be a little, you might be a little ashamed of yourself, but mine is more extreme. It's not just like the junky food, it's like anything I eat. Like sometimes I feel gross for eating and like the feel of food in my mouth is just like off-putting. That's why like I can never force feed myself. I hate doing that. Um, which, but what I mean by force feeding is you are forcing your, forcing food in your mouth forcing yourself to chew it even though it's disgusting to you like it makes me sick sometimes but like if i haven't eaten in two days sometimes i have to fucking force feed myself um so that's one of the ways of like handling my eating disorder of kind of just like it's like i don't give a fuck how you feel you gotta fucking eat <laughs> um usually i don't have to force feed usually by like the afternoon or something like my nauseous my nausea will go away and i'll be able to eat something and i'll also have like um favorite foods which i've heard is like a um a symptom of autism how you'll like hyper fixate on one food and then that's all you eat for like a few weeks and then you'll never eat it again like you'd never want to eat it again 
I have a lot of that. Um, which, like, sometimes that's great. Like, sometimes, like, my last um, big, like, fixation on food was Subway sandwiches. <laughs> that's all I wanted to eat, and that was, like, all I could eat. That was all that sounded appealing and appetizing. Um, so, like, yeah, I would, I would get a Subway sandwich every day. And, like, that was, I was eating pretty good, but, like, I had to spend money on it and things. Um, my uh, food choice right now is sunflower seeds, which, like, that's, you can't really consider that a food. It's a seed. <laughs> Not getting much nutrition from it. Um, which, that's also, like, coincides with, like, my emotions, because when I was a kid, um, I remember just me and my mom, we were just, like, uh, we would watch Criminal Minds and eat sunflower seeds. Like, that's what we did, and that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm, I kickstarted a Criminal Minds back up, and I'm, like, eating sunflower seeds um, as, like, a way of coping. Um, so, yeah, sometimes, like, my eating is emotionally based, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes, like, I wish I could eat, but I, the thought of it makes me sick. Oh! Hello, bug! Hey, buddy. You got an eating disorder too? Yeah, go on, get. Yeah, but I don't know. I know I'm kind of rambling because I I wanted to kind of wing this because I was gonna take like notes and like little highlights of what I could talk about, but like <laughs> the thought of just over talking about it and thinking about my eating disorder is pretty uncomfortable for me. Um, especially like if I'm trying to break it down to a science, like that's really hard because then I'm trying to make make sense of it so that I can work through it and it doesn't make sense to me and it's it's really tough living with an eating disorder um and it took me so long to admit to myself I have an eating disorder because growing up I just thought eating disorder meant you're skinny but you think you're fat or you're bulimic or and it's just one of those like I was just little words that I thought it covered the whole eating disorder thing so I was like well I'm not anorexic like I know I'm not fat and I was like well I'm not bulimic I'm not purposely making myself throw up so I don't have an eating disorder I don't fall under those two categories which like that's completely not true eating disorder is a huge broad thing and all eating disorder really means is your relationship with food is it can be complicated or not I don't say not healthy because that's not the goal here is to be healthier or like eat better. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's so complicated, especially growing up in American society where um, it's lessening now, thank God. But like when I was a kid, fat shaming was huge, like real bad, <laughs> especially growing up in Texas. Like we had all this Southern food and then we were supposed to expect to be skinny i know a lot of girls like they were bigger when they were younger and it fucking destroyed them like my best friend growing up i know she has a really bad eating disorder and it's it does it does control parts of her life and it breaks my heart because she's beautiful and gorgeous and she i've always thought she has been and to see her destroy her body because she thinks she's not beautiful is just so sad and heartbreaking and um I can relate like I don't starve myself because I don't think I'm beautiful I I don't know why I do it it's it's almost like a coping mechanism or like it's the one thing I can control is my eating so I don't know why I it's the one thing I can control but I don't control it if that makes sense like I don't know it's just it's so hard to talk about this with people because most of the people I know, they want to lose weight. So me coming here talking about like, I, I'm terrified of the weight I'm losing and I want to gain more. Like a lot of people just don't understand that. And that's kind of just like the culture we're in is like, um, the skinny is good and fat is bad, which like, I don't agree with at all. Um, I wish I had more juice in my, booch <laughs> I wish I had more junk in the trunk like I hate being told like like last time I was down to 70 pounds like a year ago 
like people may comment and they're like you're so skinny like you don't have a butt anymore and then I'm like oh thanks like now I'm not only starving but now I think like I look like a freak uh, it's just it's a really hard thing to to live with and work with and um I really don't feel like I have a lot of people I can talk to about this um, cause I don't think a lot of people will understand, especially like one of a lot of people's problems is they want to lose weight and I'm, I don't know, I just feel like a piece of shit when I'm like, no, I'm too skinny. Eh. But like, it is a big issue for me, but like, I feel like how other people perceive it is just, I don't know, I feel like it makes me look snobby or I don't know. I do think a big reason, um, not only me, but like people of my age, I think a lot of us have uh, eating disorders because we grew up um, and like pretty much every woman around me growing up, like they always were talking about like, oh, I need to lose weight. Oh, I'm so fat. Oh, I'm so ugly. I blah, 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 blah. And it would always be like these beautiful women. But like, I would, I never went up to a woman and was like, she would be beautiful, but she's too fat. Like. I never viewed women by their weight. Like, I viewed them by their personality and how they treated me. Um, I never judged someone for their weight, so... I don't know, where was I going with this? <laughs> um, but yeah, I would always hear, like, my mother, my aunts, like, my friends' mothers, they'd always just be complaining about how fat they were, and I would look at them and be like, but they're not fat. So I think mentally, a lot of us grew up with this mentality of, okay, by the time I'm 40, I'm gonna, I have, I'm gonna think I'm fat. Like, I'm gonna think I'm ugly because that's the women we watched. That's all they did is they talked about their weight and their body image in a negative way. So instead of us being taught to like, think that we're beautiful, we were taught like, oh, by the time I'm 40, I have to think I'm fat. So like, <laughs> by the time I'm 40, I'm gonna think I'm fat even though I'm not. So I think mentally like, I've kind of been like, well, I better not gain a single pound because if I even been slightly quote unquote fat, then people are gonna notice that and bash on that because if they can't love their own body weight, how are they gonna love mine? So I think that has been a big problem, especially like with my mom. My mom has always had body, body image issues um, and she's very vocal about it and calls herself like ugly and fat, which like, it's really hard to hear, um, first of all, because that's my mom. I don't want her to say that, but then also, like, I'm half of her. Like, if she's fat and ugly, then, like, I am I must be fat and ugly, too, because I'm her daughter. So it's, yeah, and also, like, I've seen how judgmental she is towards herself and her weight, so I'm always like, I better not get fat because my mom is going to fucking annihilate me because I see how she talks to herself. So if I get fat, she's gonna talk to me that way. And then I was like, no way that's happening. Like I better not gain any weight, which um, all me and my siblings, we're all pretty skinny. Like we're, the pines are uh, genetically small people, but um, we're all like pretty skinny and pretty healthy. But um, I, w I wondered if like we're all that way because of what my mom has said and we've watched her how she feels about herself and her way we're like if we're fat she's not gonna love us because she doesn't love herself because she's fat i think that's always been a fear in the back of my mind and i didn't realize that until like a year ago or so um which like I've, i think i've had that fear my whole life because she's always talked about herself that way which like i hate that she talks about herself that way but like we all try to be encouraging and and loving as we can, but at the end of the day, if she doesn't love herself, she she doesn't love herself. That's not up to us. And I I did remember bringing up once that my mom, like I said earlier, my mom had those instant breakfast uh, drinks, and I remember before Mackie was born, I was just I was here, uh, my little sister was here, and my mom was here, and we were just talking about. I don't even know what, but somehow I, the topic came up of me, of my mom giving me those instant breakfast drinks. And she was, she got really upset and was like, that's such a lie. And that I was kind of like, well, that was the only thing that probably saved my life, but okay, like, I guess it's a lie. 
that really closed the door of like, okay, I can't discuss this with my mom. Um, which I wasn't even trying to, we were just having a conversation. Like I would never, I'm never gonna have um, this kind of talk with my mom in person because she's just on a way different level of self love and self beauty. And she, she's always trying to work towards losing weight and being this certain body, t body type. And that's her focus, that's all she wants. Instead of loving what's within, she wants to change her outer look before she can accept love and before she can give love. Um, which is really heartbreaking because for me, I've never cared about her weight or how her body looks. Like, she's my mom and I don't know, like, I remember when I was a baby, like, from the 90s to now, like, yeah, my mom's body has changed. She went from a 30-year-old a to a 50-year-old. Like, yeah, your body's gonna change. Um, but, like, to me, it's, she's always just been my mom. Like, I never thought she was ugly. I never thought she was fat. I never thought, like, she should change certain physical aspects about herself. But that's all she cares about. So, like, when I tell her, like, I don't know, I didn't mean for this to turn into a rant about my mom, but um, but that is a big part of my eating disorder is watching my mom's, um, I guess her own eating disorder and how she handles it. And I haven't really been able to tell her about mine because of how she handles her own. It's a very terrifying and unaccepting and unforgiving way. <laughs> I really didn't mean for this to turn into a rant about my mom. Um, basically, I'm just, I'm trying to eat and right now it's sunflower seeds are what I'm eating and um, another another thing about uh, my eating disorder which is also complicated and makes it probably much worse is alcohol. Um, like there has been days when I'll feel nauseous but like the, a beer will make me not nauseous and like I know that's not a meal but it does have some calories in it it's something as bullshit as it is it's something so like some days like that would be my meal it would be like i'd have a beer or some kind of alcoholic drink um which is definitely not good health wise for my body like you can't alcohol is not a food <laughs> but also like I don't know, I can't have alcohol be my crutch or my go-to food because I do have a problem with alcoholism, um, which I have a pretty good hold on right now. I'm good. I the, I don't crave alcohol every day. I don't drink every day. Um, I, don't, I haven't gotten drunk in a pretty long time. But yeah, that just is one of the things, like sometimes what I'm able to eat is like, I don't know, it's either alcohol or like smoking weed, like, Sometimes if I don't smoke weed, like, I have no appetite. Like, I literally am not hungry. So, like, sometimes having weed does help me be able to eat and have an appetite. Which, like, living in a state where weed is illegal, like, how are you supposed to... <laughs> That's not, like, a good argument. It's like, well, I need weed to eat, but I gotta break the law to be able to eat it. That's just a whole other thing. Part of it is, like, um... Like weed and alcohol sometimes will help me be able to eat, but also like I can't be dependent on those in order to eat. Cause like if, if there's been times where like I don't have weed and I'm like, well, I, I don't have an appetite. I haven't eaten for two days. So that's not good to like rely on the, the appetite um, from being stoned. <laughs> Cause we all know like the munchies are a real thing. And sometimes the munchies are lifesavers. Like, it's not just munching out, it's like, oh, I can finally eat now, like, my stomach is settled, and I'm hungry. <laughs> and sometimes, like, on the internet, people will comment on my body, like, I've been told, like, of course I have no butt, and shit, and I don't know, just, I feel, sometimes I feel ashamed of my body, because it's not this beautiful, luscious body, um, which, like, that is being judgmental on myself, I shouldn't care what anyone on the internet says, especially like 
from like a tiny little clip like they don't know me and they don't know my body it's just like in high school like the people that would make fun of my breasts were people that had never seen them like <laughs> like some people had but like most of the people that were making fun of my small boobs were people that had never seen my boobs so it was kind of just like okay they're they're grasping at straws so like my my mentality i took away from that out of high school was I was like, they're making fun of something they can't see because all the things they do see, there's nothing to make fun of. Which, like, I know that's kind of vain, but, like, that did help me kind of get past the bullying of, like, these people are just trying to find something wrong with me because they can't. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Everyone is kind of a dick in high school. I sometimes don't put my body out there because I'm scared of what people are gonna say um, regarding like me being too skinny or something so like when I do get compliments on my body it's a big deal um, which I don't know this isn't about vanity but just just don't comment on people's bodies okay just be nice everyone's body is beautiful and everyone's body is different and everyone has a different lifestyle and different choices so like why should you judge the way someone looks when they're living a completely different life than you? I don't know. Anyone that makes fun of people's images online is a low life, so. Yeah. Which this is a completely different topic, but like I have had issues with like seeking val validation for my external beauty. Um, I think it is because I was raised by people that didn't have good self love and didn't praise themselves so I wasn't taught how to praise myself so sometimes it, it is easier to just go find it from other people um and usually like so what if other people think I'm beautiful or sexy or whatever like if I don't think that about myself then it doesn't matter what other people think um but I don't know when you have a bunch of people tell you you're beautiful and sexy it feels good and sometimes that's what I need <laughs> it's just someone to say like hey you're you're cute and like I don't like having to go out and find that but like like I said like I don't really have a support system and a lot of people that are close to me in my life aren't really like giving out compliments like that which like it's not like I'm just fishing for a compliment. I don't know. It's it's like I I'm tired of people just viewing me for my faults. Like sometimes I just want someone to just say, "Hey, you have a nice face." Like I don't know why that sometimes is important to me and what helps me, but it is sometimes. When I get told I have a shit personality, like sometimes my only reaction is that I was like, "Well, maybe I have a shit personality, but I'm fucking hot." You know, like, which that's a shitty way of living and having a mindset, but it's just, sometimes it just makes it easier to, when you feel shitty about yourself, when someone tells you, like, you're pretty or beautiful or something, I don't know, it just kind of helps. Which that has nothing to do with my eating disorder, I don't know. It's just one of my things. But then, like, when I am nervous to post online, like, I do, I do have an OnlyFans right now, and... I I was really scared to do it, not for moral reason, but I was just like, no one wants to see this body. No one likes this. No one's gonna be attracted to that. So like, when people are and do like compliment my body, I don't know, it means a lot to me. And it kind of heals wounds of being like bullied as a kid and being um, denied like love and was never taught self-love. It, I don't know. It's just, it's one of those coping ways that like, I don't want to get more judgment from because like I'm getting, I feel judged enough. And one of my ways of coping might not be morally correct to some people or it might not make sense, but like, I'm not doing it to try to harm anyone. It's literally just, sometimes I'm in deep shit and I just need someone to just give me just, one little step so I can just get a little cut, a little higher out of this pit. Um, and they, I don't even care if they mean it or like, 
if they're, they're usually trying to get something out of it, but like they said it and I will like take it <laughs> as a compliment and feed it to my fragile ego. I don't know, I, it's not about vanity and I'm making it sound about vanity, but sometimes my physical attributes are going hand in hand with my emotional attributes and I know they shouldn't because physical beauty doesn't last forever and it's fleeting. Um, but also like, I also would love to treasure like my beauty I have right now. Like I want to document it and I want to appreciate it because I know one day it's not going to be here. And to being raised to not only like be quiet and sit down and don't like promote your beauty, but like to basically just like deny I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this yeah I just I like my face and I like my body and I like when I feel comfortable enough to share that with other people um, and I don't like viewing that as like a whorish way or a vain way or selfish I just I don't know everyone likes compliments and Sometimes when you're having a bad day, that's all you need. I don't know, I just felt feel like I had to talk about this. I feel like I was finally ready to talk about it. And it has been a really big issue the last couple of days. Like I, like sometimes the thought of eating sends me into a panic attack. So like, I just won't eat because I'm like, I just, I can't even think about it. I can't deal with it right now. And that's really troublesome of when like not, the thought of eating sends me into like a spiral and like just not eating is the only thing that makes me feel better like that's really tough and not helping anyone um but yeah i just i don't know really what else to do like i've gone to the doctor and they told me like everything's fine physically so I'm like, is it mentally? But like mentally, I'm, I don't really know how to control my eating habits. Another hard thing is like, if I am eating something and you're commenting on it, just, just don't, just please don't. <laughs> I don't care how much sugar I put in my coffee. I don't, just let me drink my goddamn coffee. <laughs> but yeah, just don't comment on people's bodies and don't comment on people's eating habits because you don't know what someone's going through. Like, if you think someone is eating something unhealthy, you don't, like, maybe that's all they're, the only thing they have to eat today. Like, yeah, in a perfect world, we could all eat organic and be super healthy, but, like, also, is it more important to be picture-perfect, like, diet or eat anything? Like, I don't know, that's not a good way of putting it, but, like, I don't know, I feel like there's just a big judgment on people's food and I wish there wasn't because sometimes just eating is really hard and <laughs> if you if sometimes if I just eat food that day that's good and to break it down so okay well what is food because some food's good some food's bad it's like well I just, I just ate something so uh, I don't know I'm just I just got a lot of shit going on right now and the eating disorder is not helping and it's also becoming like one of the biggest problems up front. So I'm trying to deal with that and just trying to eat better, which it doesn't help when you're broke and you can't go buy groceries, you know, like <sighs> food is expensive. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, my relationship with food is so fucked and I wish it wasn't and I'm trying to make it better, but I don't know, it's a work in progress. And I, I needed to tell someone about it because I don't have any friends and I'm slowly losing um, family members and support system. So this is my only kind of support system right now. So uh, thanks for listening. <laughs> but yeah, this is also kind of like how I, can keep myself accountable like this is me talking to myself before i'm talking to anyone else 
So like, I would love to be able to come back in a year and watch this video and be like, I was struggling so hard, but now like I maintain my eating disorder, like I'm healthier and happier. It is kind of like keeping myself accountable and it's not for anyone else's opinion, um, but mine, I think that's it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I needed to say. Pretty much just, um, I'm hustling and I'm trying to pay up, be able to provide for myself and create a life um, that makes me happy and makes me feel fulfilled. And I, I can picture a life where I do have a, a healthy relationship with food and I have, I have control over my eating disorder. And it's, I don't really know how to get to there. Like, I don't really know. I can see the end game, but I don't know what steps to take to get there. I don't know, it's just really frustrating, guys. And <laughs> I don't necessarily need like an apology, but I just need something to give or someone to be like, okay, this girl is working really hard and trying really hard, but she's, struggling really hard with some things like maybe we should give her some slack or something i don't know just i'm tired of all this judgment when i judge i can judge myself pretty harshly at times and um i don't like to <laughs> but yeah the eating disorder is definitely one of my things that like i want to change about myself and want to have control over and I think a support, a support system is really important in that. Um, especially because like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I, like, I do know a couple people that have eating disorders, but I don't know. I feel like it's this shameful, shameful thing not a lot of people talk about and we're all kind of just hiding it because it, it, it is like a monster on our back. Like this monster that won't let us eat and we're just trying to hide that monster because we don't want people to see that we're we have issues and problems but like just hiding it and tucking away isn't working anymore especially like when I need help like I'm I need help with it so just denying it isn't gonna do anything if any of you guys have ever dealt with uh, eating disorders or you have a current eating disorder or you just have tricks for eating or anything food related that like I don't know if you have a story to tell or you have any advice to give like I'd love to hear it I want to know how other people with eating disorders deal with it like on a daily basis and how it makes them feel about themselves and how other people react to the eating disorder um, and also just what is your eating disorder like I don't have a specific name for mine. It's just ED, just eating disorder, um, because I don't think I fit into a specific category because also it can fluctuate. Like some days I'll be fine and like I'll eat great for three days and then like the next three days I won't eat a single thing. Like it does fluctuate. And like that's even <laughs> sometimes even worse because I'm like, okay, I was fine yesterday. I was eating great food and now like the sight of an apple makes me disgusted. Not an apple, I, I don't have a problem with apples, but it's a journey and I'm trying to figure out how to overcome this because like, I need to, like I don't wanna starve anymore and I want to at least, like, I can at least get to 80 pounds, you guys. Like I can do that, I've done that before and I know that the number isn't a big deal and I shouldn't make it about like how much I weigh, but like, just from 70 pounds to 80 pounds is a huge difference for me. And getting back down to seven, 70 pounds, I was pretty disappointed in myself. And I don't like, I shouldn't feel disappointed. I should just be like, okay, I just take it as it is. Like, okay, I can, I can eat, a, I can try to eat a little more each day, uh, which I have been, but then like, kind of like today, like it's, I don't have a clock out. <laughs> like this window, like there's a time there, whatever. But yeah, it's it's probably like one or so. It's like the middle of the day, and like I, I've eaten some flower seeds. Like that's kind of all I eaten. I had um, 
some sesame bread with um, raspberry jam on it too, which I made two of them. Cause I was, I was gonna, eat, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be good. I eat two of them, and I was able to eat one, and then started on the second one. Then I was like, this is disgusting. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I'm gonna be sick. That's so annoying when like you'll be in the middle of eating, and then your body and your brain is just like, nope, this is gross. We're done, done eating. I, I hate that. Especially like some people who think that like I just don't like the food like they cook for me. It's like no, like I don't know. The nauseous part is tough because like it kind of comes out of nowhere. Like I used to think it was drinking, like I was drinking too much. So I was waking up hungover, but then I stopped drinking and like I'm my system's cleared and I'm still waking up nauseous. So I'm kind of like, okay, I don't, I don't know what's going on. And the doctors don't know what's going on. So <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of a little frustrating and scary. Just like knowing there's a problem, but not knowing what exactly the problem is or how to fix it. <sighs> but yeah, um, well, thank you guys for listening to me rant and get that off my chest. Um, it did help a little bit to just kind of center myself. Um, cause I was, I was upset making <laughs> the beginning of this video. No, I'm not quite as upset, but yeah, I'm going to go back home and I'm going to see my son. Um, I'm going to try to eat something. All this talking about food has actually made my stomach like, oh, food. <laughs> so that's good. That's good. That's progress. Maybe that's all I need is just talk about food and then I'll eat. Um, thank you guys. And let me know if you have any advice or any eating disorder stories. I would love to hear them. And I'm still on a journey, but like there are, I don't want to say I'm ahead of some people, like, but there are, I'm sure there are some people that like, I could give some, I don't know. I'm just rambling right now, but <laughs> uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of the week and you eat lots of good food and hug your loved ones. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.